You really need a friend who has like really great humor. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, let's do this. I even say in one of my videos that I do not really like, tra I don't like tracking. I even say, oh my gosh, I cannot talk. Garlic. Okay, that's a lot of garlic, all right. So we are back and it is dinner time. It is, it's not dinner time. It's like dinner prep time. It's almost 5.30. We are making Tuscan chicken. My glasses look really big or my head looks really small. I took out my braids, so like my head, I need adjusting because it's, my glasses look a lot bigger than they have before. Anyway, we are making Tuscan chicken. This is like one of my favorite recipes, but I don't make it a lot. I don't know why, it's actually not that hard. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I make that. And I completely forgot to do an intro today. Hi, my name is Desi. You're watching my channel, Desi Ventures, and we are daily vlogging. I'm doing content on my first cut, which is like my first real cutting calorie series um, and tracking my diet with you guys. I'm also tracking my half marathon training because I plan on running a half marathon in 15 weeks. Um, I've run before, I have a little series on TikTok where I give running advice. So if you're interested in starting a running journey, definitely like and subscribe. And if you're not interested in starting a running journey, but you really need a friend who has like really great humor, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, let's do this. I ended up getting chicken breast for this recipe, um, boneless, skinless. So we're gonna wash those and I'm gonna butterfly them, I think that's what it's called. Season them up and I'm gonna throw them in a pan, get them nice and crispy. Then we're just gonna make Tuscan sauce and also some rice. So let's actually put the rice in first because that's the easy part. I'm using sushi rice because I love sushi rice. You can go with a healthier alternative than sushi rice with like a brown rice, even quinoa or maybe like sweet potato or even do like mashed potatoes with this. But we're gonna stick with sushi rice because that's what we have. So yeah. I'm gonna use my handy dandy rice cooker. So the rice is in, now I'm gonna take out the chicken, prep the chicken, and get a nice, lovely pan so we can pan fry the chicken. Okay, that's a lot of garlic. All right. Some complete saison. You can get this at Food Lion. This is the bomb. This has salt in it already, so I don't use a lot of salt after I put this on. And because it is Tuscan chicken, I'm gonna use oregano also. I'm also gonna add a little bit of cayenne. Also for this recipe that I will link, um, and I'm actually gonna start getting those out, you'll need heavy cream. I think you can substitute coconut milk if you are dairy free, but I'm gonna use heavy cream if it's still good. If not, I'm gonna sub it for coconut milk. Um, then you will also need, of course, sun-dried tomatoes, which you can get in where like the pita chips are near the deli section of the grocery store that's where or sometimes it's like right under the garlic yeah you can try right under the garlic like fresh garlic sometimes they'll put the can or jar of sun-dried tomatoes and it has like the juices in it as a really nice flavor you also need dijon mustard to make the sauce and some chicken broth but i will link the actual recipe down in the description box 
Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up here and start frying my chicken. So I'm cooking the chicken and I was looking for chicken broth, um, which I also don't have. But you can, you just need something to deglaze your pan with after you're done cooking the chicken. And we actually have some cooking wine. You can use white wine too. I'm gonna use the cooking wine that we have. So it's gonna be super tasty. You could actually put this on pasta. This would be really good with pasta. I already made the rice though, so it's okay. But this would be really good with pasta. Almost like a pit, like a rose penne, you know? All right. Chicken, I put, I start squeezing in that last piece right there. Yeah, looking good. All right, so I'll come back when I'm ready to glaze the pan. You don't have to cook the chicken all the way through, just like enough. Cook the chicken enough, because you're gonna put it back in. So you don't want it overcooked. Also another ad, when I deglaze the pan and I'm going to add in the ingredients I just listed, on the recipe they don't add in like minced garlic or onion, I don't think, but I'm definitely gonna be doing that before I make the sauce, cause like, I don't know what a recipe is without minced garlic and onion, but um, I need that in my food, so. Got my onion already chopped right here. If you don't, if you don't prep your veggies, like if you use a lot of like minced garlic, or onion. I always get the big, we get the big jar of minced garlic from Costco. And then we prep some of our veggies that we use all the time. So we always have like diced onion or chopped onion on deck. So we don't have to prep it. Pro tip, prep your veggies. I used to make omelet baggies. So I didn't even have to worry about it in the morning. Just start doing that. I should show you guys that. Anyway, about to take this chicken off. Good morning, party people. I got my poof 
poofing this morning. We are getting ready to go to the gym. I'm musty and crusty, so we need to change that. I also need to weigh myself because I've been trying to get back onto eating a little bit better. So, you know what, I'm gonna change the perspective of this because I went to wide angle and now I feel a little weird. Let's change it real quick. Much better, I like this a lot better. Okay, we're gonna weigh ourselves. Let's see what we're looking like. Last time we weighed in at 194.4, um, so let's see. Okay, so we weighed in at 192.2. The other scale says 193.8. So we're below 195. That makes me feel good that we maintain that progress. And I say maintain because like I haven't been doing too much like I was. I haven't been doing the most like I was prior to vacation. I'm still trying to work myself back into the gym. And so today... We are going back to the gym. Yesterday I did run and um, if you saw my last video, I ended up running like a 26, 34, I want to say was the time for my two mile. And yesterday we ran a 25, 11. I was running with the dog when I say we. Um, wow, my hair is so poofy. So I was really proud that I could speed up, but I ran the same exact route and my Apple Watch was saying that I needed to run farther, essentially, which was really annoying. That's why I don't track on my Apple Watch. If you're watching my series on TikTok where I give running advice, I even say in one of my videos that I do not really like, tra I don't like tracking. I even say, oh my gosh, I cannot talk. If you're watching my series on TikTok, I say that I don't like tracking my runs with my Apple Watch because it's, it's never accurate. Like you can run the same route and it's like you have to run a block or two more just to hit the same miles you ran yesterday when you didn't have to run that far. And it's just very interesting to me how inconsistent it could be. So I like using the run track app, but when I was, if I'm running with a dog, I'm not necessarily like thinking about, okay, what app do I need to pull up? I just kind of started on my phone so we can get going, but need to wash my face. I need to wash my face. Um, I need to brush my teeth. I need to get ready. I already have my workouts planned today. We're going to do legs. So we're going to do one of my 2019 workouts that I put in my notes years ago. Um, and I will put it in the description box if you want to follow that routine. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when we get to the gym because it's it's pretty intense. Like my legs were popping. The muscles were popping. So I'm excited to try this routine. And then tomorrow we're going to do back, I think, because... Saturday or Sunday, I need to actually do another long run. We're supposed to do three miles on Saturday or Sunday. So I didn't want to do legs right before we run. All right. Okay. Face is a bit cleaner. Hair is still um, mega poofy. But if you are new to my channel, I am Desi. Welcome to my channel, Desi Ventures. We are doing daily vlogs where I am tracking my fitness, my half marathon journey this year, and anything else that happens funny in my life, you'll see it on here. Now, what should we do with this? Let me put on my workout clothes and we'll see. But let's figure out what we wanna do with our hair. Put on some deodorant because I can't find a good natural deodorant. Ay, it sucks. Like I cannot find it. If you have recommendations, let me know. But the hair is definitely herring. Nice and it's got body. Okay. I'd wear it down, but I know. I'm just gonna have to put it up again. Let's see. Should we do space buns? I think that's the way. I tried to organize all of my rubber bands or hair ties in a container. I'm like a container lady. Hair is going up. Boop. 
How do we look? You're crooked. How do we look? Butamus. Butamus. All right, right now I'm using the secret aluminum free. I just feel like all these natural deodorants end up making you like smell like you were baking in bread or something after a while. Um, okay, chapstick. Need that. And then I'll just put on a pair of glasses to drive in. Actually, I have my driving glasses in the car. If you guys don't have a pair of driving glasses, who are you? Get yourself some from z -Lol or whatever. Some cheap glasses and just keep them in your car so you don't have to worry about, one, grabbing glasses and then leaving them in the car. You just always have a pair of glasses in the car. We need another battery so I can take you guys with me. I got my bag here of goodies for the gym that I never really use, but our headphones are in here. Okay, yeah, I'll see you guys when we're walking to the car. And you know what wasn't in the car? The car glasses. That's frustrating. I think I took them out this past weekend because I was parking in an area that like, I was a little skeptical of and I was gonna valet my car too. And I was like, let me just take all my valuables out. And I put them in what I was carrying. And of course, I did not put them back. Um, that's okay though, we can still see, but it's just not as comfortable. All right, we gotta make a few runs. We gotta give um, Big Daddy Bay. He <laughs> saw so one of my other vlogs, he's like, you say Big Daddy Sony? I was like, yes, I did. We gotta get Big Daddy Bay his, um, his, his work bag or something. I gotta drop it off, so. You guys are gonna be running an errand with me. I'm just gonna eat one of these Belvita sandwiches on the way. I think I'm hungry. I don't know if I'm actually hungry. But did I tell you what we weighed in at? We weighed in at 192.2 or 193.8, one of the two. Because you know my scales are broken. If anyone wants to send me a scale, let me know. I just don't feel like buying another one since there's two. Like which one do I throw away? All right, we're on the way. I will either, I'll see you guys at the gym. Yeah, let's say that.